back here on the set with us, joining us once. He could be a co-host. He's been here so many times. <laughs> Roger Broder is here from the Lions Club. Uh, excited to talk about uh, the big event. The big, long time Lake Orion tradition is coming up. Uh, the Jubilee. Um, it's back. Let's talk about it's that. One of the favorites. Yeah, what is, and, what is uh, Jubilee I, I get doing a, to the Lions you know, You say I'm almost a co-host. Well, that's because <laughs> of my friends here. You guys are so supportive <laughs> of us. I love it. Oh, we're happy. Love, love, love being here to get the, get the help from you guys here. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. We uh, took a little while to go through the approval process, some changes this year, but, uh, but we're, we're all set to go on the 22nd. I got my notes in front of me because there's so much activity that weekend. And, yeah. And, uh, Really, really going to be a fun weekend. The 22nd to the 25th, we'll have the carnival the whole weekend, uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday 5 o'clock through Sunday at 6. Oh. And uh, we've got the beer tent, which I'm personally responsible for. <laughs> and that's the so, big money maker, right? It, well, actually, the carnival is. Oh, yeah. The beer tent's a little lower on the list, okay. but we, you know, we, we do, a little, do okay at the beer tent. And, Hopefully we get a big crowd out there both nights with the bands to get them dancing and get the get the support of the crowd, buying lots of beer and stuff, and we, we have a good time. We'll we'll get three to four hundred people in there, mm -hmm. and um, it's a fun couple of nights. We decided this year not to do a beer tent on Thursday for the first time because it just we weren't getting the crowd that after work crowd and right, stuff. Right. It just so it was kind of a break even, a lot of work for not a lot of. Uh, charity profit if you will and yeah. so we decided to cancel Thursday night this year so it's Friday and Saturday only okay no fireworks yeah I'm, that's a big change I, this I'm year, getting so. blasted with that one on Facebook yeah <laughs> no you know, fireworks it, it was so confusing a few years ago when all of a sudden there were two fireworks ceremonies in Lake Orion right. and people were like which one is which and that yeah. happened for several years in a row and Personally, I'm relieved we're back down to one one set of fireworks. So come on, you didn't like lugging all your camera equipment out there twice, <laughs> right? Exactly, two different times. Um, but no, so Skurbeck is back with games and rides and everything, right? Yes, absolutely. Skurbeck is our big big uh, carnival company supporter again, along with a whole list of other sponsors. Uh, we've actually started a new committee in our club for sponsorships. So we never had kind of overall club annual sponsors before. Yeah. So now we do. We have a number of, of kind of that platinum, silver, gold type of thing. And um, they, they, they sponsored the whole year of Lions, if you will, oh, wow. rather than we've had a few here and there for, for particular events. So that's been a big help in our in our fundraising as well at, at times when other fundraising opportunities are going away and of course during covid we had essentially zero fundraising so yeah, right. it's really helping us get a lot more done to help other charities people in the community you know the high school the 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 baseball that we support the first robotics teams in both the middle schools and high school um, just so much that we can do and it's it's not a concern right now. We know we we can support those things that we want to. Well, speaking take of care which, of. one of the things you support is Leader Dogs for the Blind, and it says here yeah. that there's going to be a presence on Saturday. Talk sure. about that. Yeah. Well, actually, is it? I think it's it's either four or five of our own Lake Orion Lions Club members are now employees at Leader Dog. Oh wow! Really? So which is really cool. So the t the connection's getting even tighter. Yeah. We've had a couple of members who have raised Leader Dogs. Mm. And so with all that, we were able to coordinate getting a bunch of Leader Dogs at Jubilee. And uh, that's, I got to remind myself here, that's really cute. Saturday noon to four. Oh, yeah. So the if you're, if you've dog, ever yeah. thought about getting a puppy that you can raise for a year and then hand it off to let them train that dog to help others. That's the hard part. Yeah, letting it go sometimes. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, we've got one of our members, uh, Mike has raised, I think, six of them. Wow. And, wow. and uh, he's got a couple that didn't, didn't pass through the entire process, so he ends up, that he now can uh, keep that dog. Family dog. So, oh. but uh, come learn how it happens. I think it's important because, um, you know, just remembering when I, for a brief moment in time, lived in Rochester, you know, being downtown and, and seeing them being trained and hearing the different uh, sounds on the, the walking signals and mm -hmm. all of that stuff. It's really, really interesting 
to see that process, especially like right sure. there in the wild happening. And, and if you think about it, they, they train people in how to use a white cane, uh, hence our white cane sales. Right. But they have the, the white cane training, they have the dog training. Uh, I, I believe it's leader dog is the reason that when you walk up to an intersection, there's that rough patch yes, of pavement the with red. little dots. Mm -hmm. And then in Rochester, they have the uh, crossing signals that speak the numbers, uh -huh. that exactly. announce the numbers. Oh, right, they count down. They, yeah. they yeah. count down so yeah. when it's safe to go. That's awesome. So that's, that's all that's because neat. of leader dog. So if there wasn't enough reasons to go to Jubilee, you got There's puppies another. on Saturday from <laughs> noon to four. I will be there. Yeah. Um, now I've witnessed you, uh, your Lions Club members uh, doing the Project Kids site. It's really fascinating to see that technology at work. Talk about that a little bit. Well, we, we do it the second Saturday of every month at the library, and we will have our trailer set up air-conditioned, the air-conditioned trailer yeah. instead of the tent. Last year we did just our black tent, and it gets warm in there. <laughs> yeah. So we have the air-conditioned trailer this year, and uh, kids six months to whatever age, uh, can you can bring your kids to our trailer and um, just simply fill out the, the paperwork. But the camera takes a picture of the kid's eyes. Mm -hmm. And from that picture, just no contact at all. You don't have to, it's not a doctor, it's just a camera. And from that picture, we can determine a whole bunch of different measurements of the eyes and say that there's a potential pretty good potential that there's a problem with vision. And where this really comes into play is before kids go to school, quite often they never get an eye exam until it's time to go to school. Yeah. And we found kids at you know, two, three, four years old that really can't see much or they're seeing really fuzzy. Yeah. And it, it just, I mean, even at that age, it can change their lives. Yeah. A so toddler can't tell you no. if they're having trouble yeah. seeing. And I've seen these amazing videos on TikTok where they fit a toddler with glasses. Yeah. And at first they resist because yeah. it's like a band that yeah. straps to their head. It's boring, <clears throat> but yeah. once they have them on, they're looking at the world <laughs> in a whole new way. Right. They're it's seeing sweet. their parents' faces for the first time. Right, right. Yeah, so that's that's the kind of thing that this this actually creates is that kind of a... Uh, opportunity for opportunity, them to know yeah, yeah that's so amazing then they, then they know they can we just we just give them a pass fail yeah mm -hmm. and then they can take that to their doctor say this is what may be wrong and get a full-on exam oh. so that's, that's great, great. It's, it's 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 pretty exciting to hear those kind of stories from people yeah yeah they'd be you part should of really that. go for you know some of those optometry or ophthalmology people that sponsor you like, <laughs> we I mean we've had help <laughs> because we help people get glasses yeah. and hearing aids, you know, people that can't afford them. Um, we have help, had help from local yeah. doctors with that. Great. So, yeah, they're our big supporters. Good. For sure. And plus we have eyeglass drop boxes. Another just side note from Jubilee, an interesting thing. One of our members came up with an idea of getting mailboxes. Oh, yeah. He ended up finding a place to get, he, I think he got four or five U.S. mailboxes that were out of service. Yeah, brought them home. Somebody called the FBI. <laughs> the FBI came and and went after him to find out why he had these stolen mailboxes. <laughs> Turns out he had all the documentation and paperwork to make them legal. So, you know, he was able to resolve the little FBI issue. <laughs> but uh, painted them yellow, put Lions logos on them, and there's one in. I know there's one in front of Leader Dog. There's one downtown. Uh, there. He's, we're getting these things put all over the place cool. to collect eyeglasses and hearing aids so we can reuse them for other people. Oh, that's great. How that's cool awesome. is that? We've that always had cool. these cardboard drop boxes at eye doctors, yep. and I believe there's one here, there's one at the library, various places around town. But now we have big mailboxes yeah, yeah. That's great. set up in town. And I know I got, I got to have a bunch of glasses laying I around. Don't I, need them. Them I know I up. do. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know throw I them do because I feel don't throw and them away. it's one of those things where you know you, you collect them or you have them sitting around. And it's like I know I should do something with this, but then it's yeah. like it pops out of you. Oh, okay, yeah. so I'll go home and, and get all my stuff. I promise. <laughs> I promise. I'm gonna just dig look them on all our website. Actually, on our website, we have a brand new website. Um, one of our members just I was going to rebuild it. One of our members, just newer members, about six months in the club, really got into it. So we set it all up, Go Daddy, and. We need somebody to do this. And I thought he would just tweak the existing data. 
he made it shine. It really? is a fantastic website. Mm. I mean, I guess he was up till all hours of the night <laughs> figuring out new tricks and new things he can do. Good for him. And it is fantastic. So if you go to lakeorientlions.org, there is actually a list of where we have drop boxes for glasses and hearing aids. Oh, great. great. So great. check we'll that check out. out. Uh, the last thing, uh, is this new? There's a children's scavenger hunt on Saturday at noon. We did it last year and we did it in 2019. Okay. Obviously 20 and 21 didn't happen. But uh, we've done it twice, this will be the third time. And the kids show up there in front of Ed's on Broadway at noon and we give them a, a paper to fill out and they stop by all the local businesses mm -hmm. and they have to get it signed off that they visited that business and and they get a little trinket or something yeah. and so and then we give prizes and you know we've given away bikes and other things wow. and then we go down to to cookies and cream the ice cream shop by children's park and uh, uh, they help us out with ice cream mm -hmm. for the kids and we do our awards there oh, nice. and uh, on the little stage there whatever yeah, yeah they, nice. there's all, of course they have all their their games out yes. in front of cookies and cream it's a it's a great place it's to do this place. so and they you know the, uh, they're, they're a lot of help for us. So that's a really fun one. And it also brings the local businesses into the Jubilee a little more. The goal, I mean, really the goal of the Jubilee is come downtown, stop by all those, do your window shopping. Yeah. There's a lot of people that don't know all those businesses are there. So this is an opportunity to go down and visit those businesses as well. We yeah. really encourage that because sometimes there's a little, you know, they don't necessarily want the road blocked off, but Get down there and shop. We want yeah. people to support downtown businesses, yeah. small businesses. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, like I said at the beginning of this segment, uh, it's such a long time Lake Orion tradition. Mm -hmm. I look forward to it every year. Um, Fourth of July weekend and everything has always been really huge here in Lake Orion. And, and Jubilee used to be closer to Fourth of July, right? Now it's a little earlier. It got backed up a week many years ago, yeah. Yeah, so now we, we kind of celebrate Fourth of July over several weeks, which is fine by me. <laughs> we could do it all and, summer. But yeah, it's, it's such a great event. And uh, I've heard people describe to me that Jubilee is sort of the, the coming home reunion thing where, you know, kids are getting off school. Mm -hmm. People come back. They Summer see kickoff. old friends, cl yeah, classmates, things like yeah. that. So it's it's uh, come back to Lake Orion, uh, homecoming sort of an event, and it's really great to see. It's a lot sure. of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's the kickoff yeah. sum of summer. Yeah. And after that, you have the you know, flare night and fireworks That's and Fourth so cool. of July and sure. Yeah. yeah. And flare night we do the week after, Friday, June thirtieth. Um, I think this year we have 3,800 flares that we bought. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, yeah, that's something to see. That's, there, that's really picture, amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's a fantastic fundraiser for us. Remember, it is a fundraiser, but really we have the best prices in flares. So if you're going out and buying your own, you're going to pay a lot more. Mm -hmm. But um, the goal is as a fundraiser. That's why we buy these. And you can get them. The, the, a couple of our members are out on their boats with a big flare sign on the side of their pontoon oh, boat. Yeah selling flares on the lake. Uh, you can get them at Wonder Cleaners in Lake Orion, uh, the big blue awning, yep. and also mm -hmm. at Ed's on Broadway. Yeah. So we got them scattered around town if you need flares for your lakefront. If you don't know what it is, and so everyone understands, people along the lake line their shoreline with red flares. So as you saw in that picture, the entire shoreline of Lake Orion is just lit up in red. Yeah. It's How amazing. long did how did that start? Like, I'm, I'm curious it about that. It was a world, celebrate the end of World War II, mm -hmm. correct? Right. So, yeah, they, it was a big okay. celebration. They, they lit up the shores of Lake Orion, and they've been doing it ever since. Yeah. Really? That yeah. long? Wow. Long, long okay. time. Yeah. yeah. So it's, there you go. I didn't, re I didn't realize it was that, that long. I, like, as, as long as I've known about it, I always thought it was just connected with this, and yeah. it was part of that. Lake yeah, it's Orion's really American a part of Week Jubilee. Kind of it's just yeah. another lion's fundraiser event yeah. and yeah. it's just become huge on the lake. Everyone on the yeah. lake, you don't have to explain it to people that live on the lake. Mm -mm. It's pretty right. clear what it is. And people are having parties, there's bands playing in people's backyards yeah. around the yeah. lake. And it's a, it becomes a big night, flare night. So yeah. that's Friday, and June 30th. It's a two night thing because you got the flares on the Friday and then fireworks the fireworks on Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. It's always the day before the Lake Orion fireworks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people will be coming all over, from uh, all over, huh? to see the fireworks here in Lake Orion. It's become a yep. really huge draw. So Yeah, and today, yeah. again, just like last year, 
one fireworks. That's right. No Lions fireworks on Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. So come so, down yeah. to the beer tent anyways. Don't, don't, <laughs> yeah. don't forget that part of it. Go. It's yeah. not just about coming down for the fireworks. So come it's down to the beer be tent. A, a fun couple of weeks. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on. So it's a great time to be in Lake Warren. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Roger, thanks for coming out. All right. And uh, we're looking forward to it. You'll see me roaming around there with my camera. I, I always look forward to seeing you. <laughs> Having fun. Yeah. Somehow you always shove a camera in my face. <laughs> I, do. I don't get recognized unless I hold up my camera. And they go, oh, yeah. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember yeah. that guy. Well, thanks for having me today. I yeah, appreciate thanks it. Thanks for too. coming out.